This honey point dubbed Bushenya Nkole is located in Bushenya district along the Mbararakasese highway operated by Nyangoma Enid, one of the Emioga beneficiaries in Nkole region. She is the director of Ankole Farmers Uganda Limited, the producers of Ankole honey. Nyangoma is a member of Omoga Sako Bushenya Shaka Municipality Women Entrepreneurs, one of the Emioga enterprises visited by Wosoga Emioga leaders and beneficiaries with support from the Microfinance Support Centre. We are producing uh, over 20 tons of honey. We are selling it locally here in Uganda. Nyangoma says she used the money acquired from Emioga to actualize certification of honey by Uganda National Bureau of States. We had our products and they were not satisfied by NBS. So when we got this Emioga money, immediately we visited the NBS offices and they helped us to satisfy our products. Now they can be sold all around East African country. She testifies that her group has changed for the better amidst hope of expanding their businesses to target the international market. It has uh, helped them to pay their school fees for their kids. Some of them have uh, managed to, to, build, to build some houses. Some of them have managed to increase their household incomes. This project has, besides inspiring locals, also served as a learning point for visiting Emyoga leaders and beneficiaries from Busoga. I encourage them not to go and sit down, to try and place hard and also make some business. The executive manager, Chinoni Sako, Katshabemera Buzaku Mumpa, points out that growing a Sako has never been easy, revealing that Chinoni Sako, which is now running a loan portfolio of over 2.1 billion shillings, has initially collapsed twice. From that 600, we managed to buy uh, a land where we planted trees. If we can sell that land, we can get a more than 100 million. Katshabe says accountability is key for any circle to succeed. Make sure that they, whatever little money they get, they use it wisely to develop themselves. And some circles that have performed better are receiving more money. There is additional funds that is coming in that is helping the circles. While leading Emyoga beneficiaries and leaders from Busoga, the Namayingo resident district commissioner, Deborah Mugirwa, testified that Emyoga performance in Ankole reflects President's aspirations. They have um, um, created the jobs for the youth. They have really made life easy for the beneficiaries. The testimonies we have seen from the beneficiaries is really a testimony that His Excellency the President was really visionary enough to see that at least he creates a Mioga. A Mioga beneficiaries from Busoga say that based on what they have learned, they are set to cause transformation once they return home. I learned from very many circles, and one of them is saving culture, is to allow somebody to save according to the income. However much behavior change is a gradual process, but we are in turn to do something good. I am going to trade those those leaders and the peoples to say to what culture, culture of saving, to buy shares. RDC Mugerwa, however, cautioned the Bosoga people to embrace Emioga as it is the only vessel to drive them out of poverty. Let us mobilize those ones that have not yet embraced Emioga to come in and we find that we work together, we get big numbers because the government has additional capital to give us. Alex Mogasha, Julius Kitone, NBS, Live at 9.